Well, about, I think, two years ago, my friend Sharon Henderson texted me. She was like, hey, have you met this guy named Austin? And I told her no, and she sent me a picture of him, his Facebook picture, and she was like, would you go on a date with him? I was like, well, sure. Like, if <laughs> if you want to set us up, or well, I don't know why you're asking, but yeah, like, I, I won't turn it down. <laughs> yeah, so I met Sharon during, what's that thing called again? Mid- Mid-size. Mid-size in church. Um, we met one of the Thursdays, and I, we still have this argument. <laughs> Literally a week later, she asked me if I was dating anyone and if I was going to be willing to date her friend. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, you don't even know me. This is just one week. You met me one time and this is literally the second time you're meeting me. How do you know I'm good for your friend? During someone else's wedding, she showed me who she was. And um, Austin being Austin, I decided not to, I decided to take it back see and just observe this girl from afar and i did that for about four five months or uh, i long, think some it was long. longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> i was just observing i'm like he slid into my dms on instagram and commented on a story that i had written about one of my students one of my students had said some funny quote that day and he commented on it and we just talked back and forth on instagram for a while and then eventually he asked me on a date, or we I thought it was a date, and he kind of said it was a date, but then apparently he... Sharon happened again, Sharon <laughs> happened. Let's just try to be nice. <laughs> so Sharon came, she said, oh, did you ask Taylor? I'm like, yeah, is it a date? I'm like, I asked her out, what exactly is, is, is it not a date? She's like, did you use the word date? I'm like, I know it's a date, why are you confusing me? Anyway, <laughs> we got to the supposed date and I didn't know if it was a date because Sharon had got into my head. So it was just like in my head, two friends were hanging out. In her head, she was expecting a date, but I didn't want to cross any boundaries, so I just stayed on my lane. And so I, was, <laughs> I just felt like, I was like, are you interested? Are you not? Like, I'm confused. And then you left or something. You went to Austin's Chicago for a week so we were like talking um, back and forth but at that point I was like okay this isn't really like a thing so I'm gonna just put it out there that we're just friends like just be really clear and he kind of was upset about that not in a bad way but you're just like can we maybe talk about this in person or talk about this Moreover, she says she gives whoever she dates three trials. Why give me just one? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I had a three date rule. Like, okay, everybody can kind of like have a bad impression on their first date, whatever, and I didn't extend that. And she gave me sleepless nights. Never happened in my life. <laughs> first time ever, but yeah, keep talking. So he picked me up <laughs> for our non date where we were going to discuss how we weren't going to date. So we went to Sonic, we took a walk, we talked for an hour about random things and I genuinely enjoyed myself and then at the end you, I was like, oh, I have to go. You're like, well, we came here for a reason. Like, can we talk about like how we're not gonna date? <laughs> and in that conversation, um, I just remember walking away, like hearing him having said, I, this is why I like you. This is why I asked you on a date, even though like I had basically said I wasn't interested and kind of rejected him. He in turn just told me all the reasons that he wanted to date me and liked me and we kind of left it at that. And so of course that stuck with me. He gave me a few weeks and then he came back um, to church and found me after I'd gone on a trip. He just kind of lays it out there and he's like, I'd love for you to give me a second chance. Like, can you just keep the door open? We don't have to like officially date or anything, but I'm really interested in you and want more than friends, like an opportunity to be more than friends. And I was like, yeah, the door is technically open. I just didn't want to tell you that yet. So we set another date to hang out and went on a date. And then after that, we set another date. And on that date, I was like, this isn't gonna work. Like, I can only see you as one of my friends. Like, I can't see you as my best friend. Like, I don't know. 
And that's when, like that was the hard no. That's kind of where your uh, angels came in. <laughs> <laughs> I went, um, I went home and I'm like, Lord, I've done all I know to do. Now it's your turn, the ball is in your court. Send her the angels. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, did he. <laughs> I also had decided that week to fast and pray for relationships. I was fasting and I was praying and I was praying at 7-Eleven in the morning and the, in the evening. And it was on July 7th I had started and I was going to end on July 11th. And on July 11th, I'm like praying and I'm like, okay, 7-11 p.m. coming up. Lord, like, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm expecting something. And I'm in the car driving on my way to small group. And at 7-Eleven, I'm like worshiping and in my car and I pull up to the stoplight and I look over to my left at 7-Eleven and Austin's in the car next to me. And I was like, and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and I get really like nervous. It was the longest light I've ever been in. And I'm just sitting there like, please turn green, please turn green, I need to get out of here. And, and in turn, Green and she was like gone. <laughs> I was like, Bam. I'm like, where's she rushing to? <laughs> We're going to the same place. And so after small group, I like rush out of there, go to my friends, sit on her couch, and just cry about this boy that I don't like, that I don't want to date, but I keep crying over. <laughs> and then the next day, I hosted a party for all of our friends. And at the party, I admitted to my friend, I was like, yeah, I definitely like him. And I, I'm worried that I like ruined it. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna have the same chance because I've said no so many times. I was super clear that I didn't want to date him. And now, I might have ruined my chances. Um, but we somehow ended up next to each other at the bonfire and chatted for the whole night. I don't remember who came and went that <laughs> night. And then the next morning I texted him and I was like, I'm so glad you came. Like, uh, so it was a Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on my way to Michigan. And I saw the text, I'm like, Surely she didn't text everybody this. <laughs> There's no way she texted this to everybody. So I'm just gonna assume it was texted to me only <laughs> and respond nicely. <laughs> she is one of the people that makes me believe, because she's a teacher, like before she became a coach, but that actually make me believe in teachers. So how she genuinely cares for students and other teachers, how she will go out of her way to do some um, extra nice things for her students that they will not even ex expect. It's, it's just out of the kindness of her heart and those are the things oh, that I saw in her, let me put it that way, because I technically, I used to have like, what do they call that thing? Is it something list? Checklist or something like that. I didn't. I ripped that checklist like five years ago. I'm like, there's no point having any list because there are some people that will come your way, will not match any of that list, but you will know that this is the right person for you. So there's no, there's no need having a list. Taylor and Vogelsen, last time. Vogelsen. <laughs> I'm grateful for the day Sharon asked me if I was dating anyone and if I was interested in dating. It still beats me that she asked a stranger about dating her dear friend, but I'm glad she did. And even if it took me a million years to make a move, I'm glad I did. I'm, I'm shy to say she gives me butterflies, but she does. <laughs> yeah, and I also pray that um, the Lord um, actually continues to bless her and bless all the um, great plans she has in her heart and lift her and bring people who would help her reach those goals and achieve those goals and even surpass them because the world really would be a better place if she can achieve even if it's achieved just 10% of the goals that she has um, so I pray that uh, that all of that and even more the Lord the Lord brings to her in Jesus name Amen. <laughs> Um, I love just his fun personality. Like he is always down to like 
laugh and enjoy life and you know I can be a little bit more serious at times and so we'll be in serious conversations and he'll just like make a joke or whatever and it's fun it definitely reminds me to like lighten up and just enjoy life and so I just enjoy being with him I um, can't tell you how many times I've just witnessed him basically put on a show for me of like singing and dancing and cooking and whatever like he just loves to yeah just enjoy life so it's one thing that I love about him um he's a really wise person and I enjoy like having conversations with him and he's really um deep and his relationship with the Lord is um one that I definitely value. I wasn't sure if I would ever meet somebody that I felt like could um, match me almost spiritually or like be a spiritual leader for um, what I pictured my future family looking like and he is above and beyond anybody that I could have imagined for myself um, and for like our future kids so I'm just yeah so excited. I um, just bless Augustine and who he is and who you created him to be. I thank you um, for his creativity and his um, ideas and just the things that he wants to do um, to further your kingdom and bless other people. I thank you for his heart and that he wants to take care of other people. Um, and we just bless, yeah, who the man that he is and the father that he will be and. Um, I just thank you for, yeah, blessing um, me with giving me him and being able to do life with him. And um, I just pray over, um, yeah, just the rest of his future. Amen. <laughs> Taylor and Augustine, on behalf of your entire family, Augustine's family and Taylor's family, everybody here, everybody watching, we bless you. We pray God's peace go ahead of you and bless your marriage, bless your family, future children, careers, your lives, your health. Amen.